Hello, it's Sebastian Danisic here again. I'm now going to show you how to define your own recursive data structures in Java. This assumes that um, we're defining, so what we'll do to start off with, we'll, we'll show you how to define lists, which are the simplest recursive data structure from first principles. Um, right, now, if you remember, uh, there are two sorts of lists. A list is either empty or it's not, not empty. Um, if it's not empty, if it's empty, it's got no components. If it's not empty, it's got two components, a head and a tail. Now, the head is a basic object, so in this case, it'll be uh, an element of the generic parameter, so of type T, and the tail will be a list. So let's show you how to define that in Java. The first thing we do is we define an abstract class, which I'm going to call seblist. That's my name for a list, my lists, as opposed to the lists that already exist in Java. And I'm, I'm, giving it, I'm making it a generic type, so I'm saying it's a, a seblist of, of type T is a list whose components are all of type T. And because and this is an abstract class, we, 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 we can define some methods which are abstract, i.e. they don't have some bodies. So the, the only methods that we're going to uh, define so far, we'll, we'll add to them later, is something for checking whether um, the list is empty or not. So that um, I'm going to call that method is nil, um, and it's going to return a boolean to say whether the list is empty or not. So we, we want that to be um, return true for empty lists and false for non-empty lists. I'm also I'm also going to have a method for uh, a two-string method, so I can print out my lists. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a open square bracket at the beginning and a closed square bracket at the end. And I'm always going to do that in my list. So notice this isn't an abstract method, but what comes in between those square brackets are the elements of the list separated by commas. Now that, so I call that method commas between. So here I have declared that abstract. The reason I declare it abstract is because um, it, how we do that is going to be different for empty lists, which basically there are no elements, so basically we want that, to, you'll see what we'll do. And non-empty list, where we, for the non-empty list, we'll actually want to print out the elements with commas in between if there's more than one. So this is the abstract class. Now we can have two, um, two, we're going to extend that abstract class in two ways. First for the empty list and then for the non-empty list. So here, so here is, um, um, uh, here we, we've got a class called sebnil which extends seblist. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to we're going to instantiate all the abstract classes. All, we, we're going to give bodies to all the abstract methods in in uh, in our abstract class class seblist. So sebnil. So for for the um, isnil, which was abstract, we we simply want to return true because um, this the empty list is nil. Okay. Now. When we print out the empty list, it's going to be, we want it to print just the open and closing square brackets. So to make that work, the commas between has got to return the empty string, because then we'll get the empty, we'll get the opening square bracket plus the empty string plus the closing square, square bracket, which is what we want. Um, the next, um, so now, so that handles the um, empty list. We now want to handle the non-empty list. Now then, that's a more interesting one. So um, uh, I'll come on to that in the next video.